Welcome back to another refined storage tutorial. Today we we're going to be looking at how to use a crafting monitor, what it actually does, uh, and how to sort of troubleshoot if something goes wrong. So we're going to come over, we want some iron, we're going to take that out, craft the iron, it's going to, the order is going to start to be processed. It's slowly going to feed that into the system. If we come over here, we can see how much is being stored, how much is currently in processing at the moment. So 20 processing, 20 over here. We can use the crafting monitor for that. Scheduled for 20 iron. Um, you can, we can see here that the iron has started to pile up. It's not being extracted. It's not being put into the system and it's not rating it as such because just because I've taken away the importer. As you can see now that the iron is being put into the system, it's being um, counted down. So... This may seem trivial, but it's something to come back to when you get to the much, much further on stages where you're crafting compressed cobblestone times five and you need a trillion cobblestone uh, for it and you can't quite find the issue or you're doing a complicated recipe like a crafting grid uh, six. You have all these working at once and sometimes there is a very small issue. It'll come up here as errored or it'll just stop and you'll need to troubleshoot the entire process to find it and sometimes it is as simple as the import is not on maybe this output set to fuel and it's no longer extracting it something small and random like that can sometimes be the entire cause using the crafting monitor to track everything that's going on can be the savior there you can also just cancel it there it'll won't extract any of the items, but it'll continue processing. That's why it's useful to just have a blanket importer and a blanket exporter. It'll just get rid of everything instead of trying to do it all. And that is how to use a crafting monitor for uh, troubleshooting.